Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we will be viewing 8 exciting new ESP32 projects, showcasing the talent in the maker community on YouTube, and providing inspiration for your very own project ideas. We have a wide range of projects to look at today, such as automated door alarms, pet robots, and DIY Bluetooth speakers. So without any further ado, let's jump right into project number one. Our first project is a pet robot fully kitted out with LiDAR sensors and navigation control created by Maker's Pet. The brains of this robot is an ESB32, allowing for Wi-Fi connectivity. This project has a relatively simple design for its capabilities, with a 3D printed exterior shell, common AA batteries to power it, N20 motors to power the wheels, and an ESP32 with a custom open source circuit board. Maker's Pet created this robot with the use of the popular open source ROS2 robot operation system, allowing them to program it with Python or even C++ scripts, and allowing for easy calibration of the motors. The pet can create its own LiDAR map of an area and drive itself around, mapping and avoiding obstacles. Following the setup, this little robot becomes very capable and can be sent off on its first mission to map and explore its surroundings, navigating around and mapping any obstacles that may be present. This robot can also be controlled manually by a user, allowing for easy control. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full build kit and documentation. Project number two. Our second project is a digital Nixie light, which accurately shows the time in a beautiful and colorful display. This build is constructed primarily with acrylic pieces, but can easily be adapted for a 3D print as well. The brilliant colors in this project come from a segmented LED strip which is connected together and arranged in a tight zigzag pattern before being hot glued to the acrylic base. The rest of the base is then layered and secured together with screws, after which the clear acrylic display pieces are added. The ESB microcontroller, which manages the display, can be neatly tucked away under the base, allowing easy connectivity without causing wobbling thanks to the standoff screws which act as feet. The end result of this project is a beautiful and functional digital version of a Nixie tube clock. Project number three. Our third project is a rotating model stand perfect for capturing 360 degree videos and showing off trinkets or items with style. Despite providing professional level functionality, this project has a fairly simple footprint with three main parts and easy wiring diagram. The structure of the stand can be easily 3D printed per your personal requirements and functions by spinning an internal gear aided by a ball bearing. This is a great project for anyone looking for a quick upgrade to their videography repertoire and is especially useful for showcasing small models or trinkets in a classy, professional manner.
Project number four. This project is a remote controllable garden path light, although it can be adapted for lighting in any given scenario. The creator of this project, Erin, used weather stripping and cork to create a unique outdoor lighting solution that can be mounted on 2x4s for versatility and placed anywhere to outline a path. This project turns plain plastic crystals into beautiful addressable RGB lights, which can be controlled via the open source WLED software, meaning no coding required. Erin was kind enough to provide clear documentation, which will be linked in the description, from wiring diagrams to recommendations and all required parts. The result is a beautiful art piece that can be controlled remotely and adapted to your preference. Project number five. Our fifth project is a DIY Bluetooth speaker capable of producing sound with surprising accuracy and clarity from a relatively small body. This speaker is able to produce mono or stereo sound, harnessing both channels for a more immersive listening experience. This project features a cleverly designed 3D printed exterior shell which serves to protect the internals of the speaker, as well as to provide a professional, clean final appearance. This maker uses the ESP microcontroller to receive audio streams from a device via Bluetooth, and then transmit the data to its pins to provide the sound. In order to enhance the sound, all three channels of the I2S protocol must be used appropriately and the use of an amplifier is key to producing a sound that is loud enough to work for a speaker. All in all, the circuit for this project involves a power supply and capacitor, a step-up converter, an ESP32 and an amplifier to convert from digital to analog audio and push the sound to the speakers. After collecting all the parts and testing them, this maker begins to assemble the speaker and final form of the project begins to take shape. Speakers are arranged at slightly different angle for a pleasing listening experience and the ESP microcontroller is placed centrally for easy access. Following the setup, the project is nearing completion and the audio can be tested. Sounds pretty good. Following testing, the final product can begin to be assembled using a 3D printed exterior to house the internals and provide a clean look. After tightening the screws, we can see that the end result is a clean, professional looking speaker that can be connected via Bluetooth to a phone or device. Project number six. Our sixth project is animated eyes, which can be added to any project to add personality and make it more unique. There are a wide range of animated eyes that can be used, and you can even create your own, like Maker Roboticos did for this project. After determining the eyes that you want to use, a simple Python program can be used to animate the eyes into manner that you prefer, which is provided by Roboticos 
and can be found in the video description. Following this, all that is left to do is to upload the code to the ESP microcontroller, after which you can view your work. The end result is intriguing eye animations that can be added and adapted to any project to add personality and make your project come to life. Project number seven. Our seventh project is an automated door and alarm sensor which can be hooked up to lights or a buzzer for real-time alerts. This is a fascinating project that employs a custom circuit board but can easily be adapted for any Wi-Fi capable ESP microcontroller. A link to this specific board can be found in the video description. This project makes use of intuitive software which allows color and mode controls, syncing with the microcontroller to establish standby or alarm status. This project can be adapted to work with buzzers or other household lights as well, thanks to the Wi-Fi connectivity that ESP microcontrollers provide. Maker Salvatore goes above and beyond in this project by creating a custom board based around the ESP32-C6 chip, which can be connected to other smart devices and detect when contacts are opened, such as a door. By feeding real-time sensor data from the chip to the software and alarm features, actions such as raising the alarm can be taken depending on what data the sensor receives. This is a fascinating and useful project that results in a beautiful and intuitive smart home alarm system. Project number eight. Our final project is an ESP speedometer able to be adapted for a variety of uses. This maker shows how the LVGL library can be used within EEZ Studio to create a beautiful graphical interface for a speedometer, adding in arcs for various data measurements. This project shows a brilliant way to make your very own speedometer, adaptable to personal preference and capable of providing enhanced clarity to speed measurements remotely. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it.